two schoolgirls from North Wales have become the very first industrial cadets in the country in a scheme to encourage more women to become engineers. The 12 to 14 year olds will be put through their paces by staff at the Airbus wing making plant in Flintshire and learn more about working with science and technology. Engineering is all about solving problems and the problem these girls are solving is how to make a chair out of balloons. They're industrial cadets from schools across North East Wales who are getting their first taste of possible careers as engineers. It's been good to like, um, have all the different team building skills and how they can apply to our life and in different situations. I think it's a bit different, like it's not what we're used to, so it's been good to work with our friends. I've learned loads of new stuff and that women are interested in it and it's different, I like it. There'll be set challenges by Airbus staff over the next few weeks as part of a programme to get more girls taking so-called STEM subjects in science, technology, engineering and maths. In Wales last year, there were nearly 5,000 male graduates, but less than 1,500 female graduates. Of the engineers in the UK, only 9% are women, the lowest percentage in the EU. We don't know what happens in terms of educational att attainment, it won't be a problem. It's a quest where they're directed to, perhaps what their parents have worked in, and people's misconceptions of what industry is like. Women like Caroline Ward are showing the students there's more to the industry than they might think. We do different things every single day. There's a new challenge all the time. Um, we work with so many different types of people from all over the world. And, you know, I get to get up every morning and say I build aircraft. And that's what gets me out of bed every morning. And here at this science education centre, staff are reaching girls at an even earlier age. Students perhaps feel they need to be top of the class to be able to go into science and engineering, or that perhaps they think it's a really dirty place to work, and you go to somewhere like Airbus or Toyota, and you look around the factory and you'll see that it really is completely different. Back at Airbus, the chair challenge is over, with the cadets making themselves comfortable in a traditionally male-dominated world. With Airbus and firms like it using female role models to inspire the next generation, girls are seeing themselves reflected more in the workforce. And the hope is that plenty more women will become engineers in Wales. Matthew Richards, BBC Wales Today, Wrexham. Let's get the weather forecast now.